Alright, welcome back and here's another sketch and this time we're gonna be drawing Rose Park from Blackpink and this is from her, I guess, Tiffany campaign. That's how I kind of um, saw her in the news and I thought there were some pretty cool images of her. Um, but it's a very nice photo so we should be able to, it's got some nice features, uh, eyes and the lips and the nose and the hair is really cool. Uh, we can draw some of that too, nice and, and long. So let's let's get going and see what, how can, uh, let's see what we end up with. Okay, so I'm just gonna be using my 6B and I won't be drawing too big. So in order to um, determine the size, I'm just gonna draw a line and say that's gonna be the width of the eye. Okay, from side to side. So I'm just gonna draw, let's see. I know this might be a little bit too small, right? All right, let's draw a little bit bigger then. Maybe this wide. Okay, so just Rough in one eye. I think one of her eyes a little bit higher, slightly higher. Yeah, I think her her left eye is slightly higher. Okay, so, so let's say that's her eye. Just checking if I come down here on the corner of the eye, you have a vertical line coming down, you will hit her nose, and then to find out how uh, long her nose is, I'm going to draw a line from here, trying to visualize the angle, probably something like that, so probably somewhere around here. Okay, we can just go with that first. Let's say that's her nose and then come down to her lip, corner of her lip, we can draw a line here or we can go up, it's probably somewhere around here. Corner, corner. So maybe something like that. Uh, let's see. Yeah, she's got a very delicate face. Sometimes it's hard to draw because there's not a lot of the cheekbones right here, I mean, it's all pretty much flat. I mean, it could be, could be touched up, or maybe that's the way she is. They don't have very high cheekbones. Or prominent cheekbones, I mean. Hair. Eyebrow, you go up from the eyes, right around here. Same thing here. So I'm just measuring, and the hairline, um, corner, so you go up from the eyes, right around here. Okay, so that's gonna be the corner. And then where the, where the hair splits. Okay, I think that looks okay. I know it looks kind of weird. Hopefully when I start drawing it, you know, we can correct some of it because it looks like, a, looks like a guy right now, right? But that's without any uh, shading. So, all right, let's get going. Uh, so now that I have this, I'm gonna clean up just a little bit of the, the lines. Oh, one second. I'm holding an image on my with my left hand, by the way. So hopefully we can make it look like her. If not, then I'll settle with a, for a pretty face. How's that? So the eyes again, um, always nice to make it slightly bigger if you Want it to be prettier. Okay. Yeah, still early in the morning. A little tight, 
a little tight. So like sometimes my, my mindset right now is like, oh, I want to make it look like her. Uh, you know, want to make it as, as accurate as possible. And then at least what happens with me is like, then you end up being a little bit too careful and it becomes uh, a little bit more of a, kind of like a daunting task because then it's not as fun, right? It's a little bit slower pace. All right, let's come down for your nose. Gets pretty long nose. Okay, I think it's actually not bad. I think this is actually okay. So even if, this, if it doesn't look like her, I think it's still very pretty. So let's go ahead and, and start shading and have a little fun here. Let me adjust myself right here. Have a little stew underneath the table. Okay, so the eyeball. Okay, so let's start here. This is the darkest part. I always like to push in and that's gonna kind of help me, you know, get a little bit more loose. So it's quite dark up top. Here's the eyeball. Okay, the pupil, dark. There's a little bit of highlight here. I'm just gonna, maybe that's a little bit too bright, but let's just go with it. Her eyes pretty dark, so just, so again, very simple shading, right? Dark, um, dark on the outside, and then just kind of shade in. Gives it a nice little glow. It's so always slightly darker up top here. Because the eyelid is covering it, so just make this part a little bit darker than the bottom. Okay, and the, this part usually is a little bit lighter because it usually catches a little bit more uh, reflective lighting. I think this needs to go a lot lower. Okay, so let's uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and I'm gonna shade some of this first. Let's get some of the brow in. Dark on the bottom here. There's a very distinct highlight right here. And then it kind of sinks in. Comes out all the way here to the middle. Well, not to the middle, to the nose right here. Okay, so I'm just kind of blurring my eyes a little bit when I'm looking at the reference, so I can see the value without seeing the, the details. So here's the side of the face. Okay, so this is more accurate now. So this face look right here. I think because the eyes uh, is a little bit bigger, now this part looks a little bit too small, right? All right, so let's go on to the other side. So again, her eye is slightly higher on the other side. So I'm trying to peek through without hitting the camera. Oh, I hope that's correct. Yeah, this thing is, the camera is right, right here, so. Hey, but no excuses, right? Okay, <laughs> all right. So, okay, so here's the eyeball. So again, here is the pupil. Let's just make that dark. And then the highlight up here. Yeah, I really need to loosen up a little bit here. I'm caring too much about the lightness, so. Darker. Just got brown eyes and then on the edge right here. Much darker. And then on the top here as well, we can make this dark. It's got a lot of makeup, obviously. And then on the eyeball as well, um, right underneath here, it's always slightly darker because again, the eyelid. So 
the lower lid remember uh, to leave a little bit of white area right underneath so here's the lashes it's not right believe uh, beneath the eyeball I mean there's a little bit of gap here because the skin folds out and it's very important to leave that white so like right here you gonna leave some white then here's the eyelash Okay, that, that gives the whole lower lid uh, a lot more structure. Okay, so let's draw here, come up here. Again, um, here's the highlight right here. Okay. So like Asian uh, eye sockets is not as deep. Let's give it a little bit more shading. I'm sticking with my 6B right now. I mean, for these lighter shading, sometimes it's a little bit easier if you use like a, you know, 4B or something. Okay, so let's come down, and I know the, the eyes are prob probably uh, too big. But let's just go for it. Okay, so I'm trying to shape the nose. Okay, just lightly. Okay, so here is kind of like a ball right here, right? So this part is going to be dark underneath. And then we can join the nostrils. Just come in here and punch that. This part's darker right here on the bottom. The light is kind of, uh, kind of off to the side a little bit, so this side is slightly darker. Right here is dark. And then right underneath here, this is actually the shadow. So that's why this part is really dark. Just get this little line there. So you can just kind of push it in, just make this dark. And it'll help bring out the uh, reflective lighting, which is right here. You know, very important for the nose. And then for the highlights, like right around here. Okay, so highlight, shade, and then this is darker right here underneath. Goes all the way here, here. On the nose, uh, this part is always tricky. We see this line here on the nose. It's not because there's a line on the nose. It's because this is a crease that kind of folds uh, away from us, and we're seeing the, the shadow on the cheek. Okay, so if you make this part dark here, this uh, the wings of the nose right here will pop out. So try not to draw like a line sometimes on this. Try to get the shading correct on the cheek and then this part will automatically uh, come out. So right here, there's more of a line because it's, it's casting some of the shadows. So much darker on this side. Okay, and then let's connect these on the eyeball. Yeah, there's more detail here, but we we can come back and, and do another pass on this. Let's come back down. I mean, come back up here and go down to the nose. So very lightly. And we might have to come in slightly even lighter because there is a highlight here. I'm trying to catch that. And the only way we're gonna be able to see a highlight right here is, is uh, if we make the nose right here a little bit darker. Very light. Okay, and then let's come down and draw the lip and yeah, okay, it's looking, yeah, it looks looking kind of pretty, right? So the lip obviously is a little too high now, uh, so I'm gonna adjust for that. Let's go ahead and make it a little bit lower. And that might actually help us correct the face 
since I made it a little bit too short. So like the lips, you know, you can make it smaller or bigger, it's actually okay. Either way, it looks good. Okay, so obviously this chin line is wrong. So I'm just gonna erase that because it's very distracting sometimes when the chin line is that much off. So I'm gonna redraw that a little bit. Actually, it wasn't that bad, was it? Very round here. All right, so let's draw the lip. The lip is always fun to draw. Uh, always enjoy. So always enjoy enjoy drawing the lip because it's pretty interesting. And if you draw it right, it looks really good, right? So I'm just gonna give this one overall one shade first. So here's the highlight. I'll try to keep some of that. If not, I can always bring it back with the eraser. Okay, so corner lip, let's go ahead and draw this line here. Bring this up. Dark. So I'm looking at it, it's pretty dark all the way around. And here's the corner of the lip again. I'm just going to push that in. Okay, and then this part is actually pretty dark right here. Comes all the way here. Actually, yeah, you know what? I'm just going to give it another shade because I think my initial shading was a little bit too soft. Okay, right here. It's a little angle right here. This part's a little bit sharper, so that's why it's darker here. There's a little bit of reflective light right here. So if you make a little, like this area a little bit darker, that gives this lip a little bit more life. So this part right here sinks in. There's so much little things, right, on, on the lip, which is kind of cool. It's like even here, this is very complicated right here as well. Okay, so let's see, this part's dark because uh, it's actually casting some of the shadow from the upper lip. We can exaggerate this and that will help bring out the highlight here. Darker up here. Again, this is pretty small. And my pencil is getting kind of blunt. Corner of the lip right here, just a little bit more shading. Okay, so underneath the lip, darker here. Actually, it's very dark underneath. Okay, let's see. I don't know, looking at this, sometimes I want to kind of leave it like a like a very high key drawing where we don't shade in the rest of the face and we just kind of concentrate on the features. That might work kind of well um, for these kind of more you know delicate looking faces, I guess, for lack of a better description. Because their features are very soft. Okay, so let's see. Let's draw in. Yeah, I might leave some. Well, let's let's just keep going. I'll just draw. Let's finish out the face a little bit more, and then we'll see what we want to do with it. So if you leave it like a high key drawing, then. Um, you know, it kind of looks a little bit more illustrative and sometimes it's nice, you know, sometimes it's, you know, you won't learn as much though in terms of shading because, you know, you're skipping a lot of the, the mid-tones. 
So in some ways it's kind of kind of like a cop out. So if you force yourself to shade everything, you know, you might mess it up, it might not be as pretty. Um, but I think you'll learn a little bit more. Okay, so this part is dark. I know it's a lot darker than that, but just in case I want to keep it a little bit more stylized. See her neck here. Okay, well that's off camera, anyways. All right, so let's uh, let's let's add in some of her hair, which is kind of nice. So like here, and this might work really well with the 6B. So I'm just gonna you know, do these kind of flicking lines. It's almost like you just push in and you just kind of go out. So you have a nice little trail on the end, kind of tapers out. Pencil is getting short and I almost dropped it. <laughs> In here, this part is darker. Let's just give this another shade. Here's her ear actually. This part is really dark. All right, let's just push it forward. Kind of nice to make this part dark or else, you know, the face doesn't really come out. There's highlights on the hair, you know, if you sometimes it's, it's too much work to try to shade around it. What you can do is just go ahead and shade it and use an um, electric eraser and just cut it back out because it's kind of crazy to try to leave those kind of highlights when you're drawing. It's a little bit too delicate. So even the top here, I know you guys can't see, but More hair on the face. All right, let's come back. Well, let's. I gotta draw some of this hair. I gotta draw some on this side. Here's your ear. Then comes down to here. I know it looks a little high, but the camera angle is actually pretty. It's a little bit up higher. We can forget about that. Okay, so let's come back to the face. Oh, I still can't leave this area right here. Something is bugging me. Because there's dark here, feels like this this part is, is off balance. So I do need to add in just a little bit of shading here for the hair. hair. All right, so you see how drawing hair can be <laughs> such a drag sometimes, right? It's just, it's a lot of this kind of grinding work. And you know, if you follow, if you keep following through like this and drawing these lines, you know, it does look nice. It just takes a lot of work. You know, like here, I'm gonna keep going. Maybe a little bit darker here, strands here. So now it actually looks like hair, right? And it just takes work. It's not, it's not very uh, exciting. Okay, so how's this looking? I think it's actually okay. So if I'm gonna add in, well, let's, let's switch. Let's switch it up. Maybe I'll use a, just a 2B. Let's give it another shade right here. So this side of the face is darker. No 
nose right here. So with the 2B, um, you know, I'm able to push in a little bit harder without getting too dark. So that way it's a little bit easy in that respect than a 6B for this kind of shading. So I'm just going all around, keeping it loose wherever I see something. But I hope you guys can see, I know it's really light. Sometimes it doesn't come through as well on the camera. Darker here. Right here, um, again, this is important here in order to bring out the nose. Shaw line right here is dark. No bit of reflective lighting on the chin underneath. And then this part's darker here. Okay, it won't go too far down to the neck. Come back up here. Yeah, this this part right here on the photo definitely looks touched up. It looks kind of odd. Cheekbone here. Maybe even the hair. Okay, let me bring back my 6B here. Let's add a little bit more attention to the eyes. I think that will help. So now I'm just kind of trying to put some more emphasis on these more important areas. I'm turning my pencil in order to get a sharper edge. Doesn't really look like her, does it? <laughs> it does look like an Asian face though, so I've succeeded in that. I need to sharpen up my pencil as well. Okay, so I think that's about it. It took a while to draw this because I think I was a little bit too tentative and you know should have just kind of went in but that's how it, how it is you know it's kind of warmed up sometimes or sometimes you care a little bit too much about the drawing and then you end up you know a little bit too tight, things goes a little bit slower. Okay, so I'll probably uh, sharpen up my pencil right here and then just come back in and really you know, put my head over the, the drawing so I can add in a little bit more detail. But I think overall, you know, everything is kind of there. You know, it is a pretty face, I think, unless I'm not seeing correctly through the camera. All right, so yeah, I'll come back to it later with, with a fresh eye and then, you know, add some more detail to it and really just kind of, just kind of finishing it up. But I think this is probably, you know, 80% of the work, so, and the workflow for the rest is really the same. So hopefully this will be very helpful to you guys in drawing this or any other uh, kind of portrait. All right, so <clears throat> now I'm losing my voice, so I'm definitely uh, been a good, Good day, uh, good day of sketching. All right, I'll see you guys next time.
All right, I'm back, and I kind of wanted to uh, just talk about, um, you know, after I shut off the cameras, I went in and put my head over and really, you know, start shading and correcting some of the uh, the shading. Just kind of want to talk about what what I've done, and so a lot of it is just with my uh, Steel 6B. I sharpen it up and really, you know, kind of just look over the smaller areas and you know try to get it more correct, and also soften things up. So I end up using a lot of these kind of shading where, where I'm doing this kind of work just to smooth things out, you know, especially like the transitions between light and dark. Um, just whatever it is that I see, I'll just go in. So it's really light. So if I can do it here, see, so I'm just like slowly building it up and I'm drawing these little wiggly shapes and that will help to kind of smooth things out a little bit. So like here, if I want to make this darker, if I just come in and just keep pushing in like this, you know, it'll gradually, um, you know, get darker without, without the harsh strokes. And things become a little bit softer, um, just, I guess, a little bit more realistic in a way, you know, because your, your shading is more refined. So I'll turn my pencil, I'll, I'll shade this. So you can see this area slowly getting darker, right? Slowly, and that's the key. <laughs> I mean, I wish I can do it faster as well, but you know, I'm not sure. And if you're not, then you just go lightly and then just keep keep at it, and you know, the uh, the values will slowly will slowly uh, build up. So I just gonna want to talk about that. So in terms of lightness, uh, I don't think it really looks like her that much. But you know, it yeah, definitely is a pretty face, I think. And yeah, so I think it's a success. Hope you guys like this little drawing. Alright? And this time's for real, I'll see you guys next time.